movies. So here's one of our actors, Henny. Um, so one of the videos mainly is about seven pep students preparing for the show. Mine is about uh, Grand Pep Auto with not doing drugs and staying in tasks. Through the hills, you could hear the 
the summers, the bulls bangs on the gun, hurting the Philippines. We're all decolonized, and now we realize that we need equity. We need to be free. It doesn't matter of our size. That only life we can decolonize. <laughs> What's up everybody? Uh, we're Pep of Law and my name is Jackie. Is someone sitting here? No. Hi, Romy. Chanel. Lauren. Your hair is in my way. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Katrina. Grace. And this is a mural we've been working in class for the past month. Our theme of our mural is identity. And identity stands for integrating diverse experiences are necessary to transcend issues to transform the youth, y'all, yourself. As you can see, the sun right here represents light. The, this mural covered universal themes, which in this case are presented with a setting of Filipino experiences. The people are being casted under the shadow of the book, which stands for an oppressive government and society, limiting their knowledge and action, and keeping, their, keeping them from happiness. The people's way of life is, is based around, but not controlled by the book. Opposed to the to people on the other side, who suffer and struggle under the shadow of the book, but on this side, they write every chapter of the book. The figures uh, represent atta the attaining of knowledge. The wings represent freedom. Light is enlightenment. The trees uh, represent growth of knowledge. And the book, you read it yourself. Street downtown. Um, yeah, it's a pretty awesome song. Here you go. This is a story about the I Hotel and all about how it gone and fell. I don't like how the government went to sell, so activists protest. Time to rebel. It was 1907 in the San Francisco Bay. Kearney was a place that Manila Town stayed and pool and what them old folks play. The culture in these parts was never thought to fade. The housing in the, the housing was housing was cheap and the space so small there was hardly any room to walk up out the halls in the SROs. The tenants had a ball, but enough about that. Let's talk about the fall. The first eviction notice came in 1968, and along with that paper came to see another fate. Nine years of lawsuits in through which they had to wait. August 4th of 77 was the final date. The Iowa Hotel was brought down, and all other tenants knew home were bound. Unjust treatment and brutality was found, and until this day, we still don't know how the sadness of the tenants sound. <laughs> 